Lynn Rabin is the champion. She's winning $4,200 and now goes into her second game against this challenger. We welcome now a professional ski patrolman. He likes to go soaring and backpacking. Jack, meet Ray Eldridge. Hello, Ray. How are you? Hi, Jack. Fine. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Where do you do your ski patrolling? In a resort area about 150 miles from Denver called Steamboat. Oh, yeah. Steamboat, Colorado. Well, I've skied in Aspen. I've skied in Sun Valley, but I've never been a steamboat. You should try. Tell, us, tell about the virtues of a steamboat as for a skier. Well, they call it champagne powder. It's the driest you can find, and it's really a treat to go up here and ski. It really is a very big mountain. Well, and they I... do it right. And uh, what do you like best about skiing for yourself? Well, it keeps you in shape, and uh, you meet a lot of interesting people, and um, you always get a lot of good powder. First ones. All right, well, keep your powder dry, as they say in the <laughs> Army, and let me show you the categories that you can be used to shoot at. They are the mystery category, take it and you'll get double, followed by sex symbols, crossword definitions, big and little, and finally, royalty. Challenger goes first. Ray Eldridge, you're going downhill. Give him a spin. Thank you, Jack. Let's hope not. Crossword definitions, royalty, and a joker. Jack, I'll take uh, crossword definitions for 100. All right. One six-letter word beginning with the letter L refers to a shallow pond-like body of water that lies near an ocean. Beginning with the letter L, what is that watery word? Lagoon? Yes, that's right. You have on and out. <laughs> Second game for you, Lynn Raven. Good luck. Thank you, Jack. Joker! Joker! Big and low. Almost did it again. <laughs> Jack, I'll take Big and Little for 200. In 1939, one popular song performed by Glenn Miller and his orchestra provided him with his first million seller. According to the song's title and its publicist, Howard Richmond, what color is the little jug? Brown. That's correct, and you go to $200. <laughs> Your spin, Ray Eldridge. Come on, Joker. Royalty, hair, and crossword definition. I'll have to go with royalty for 100, please, Jack. In 1948, Queen Juliana was enthroned as the ruler of this northern European country. Name the country. Uh, Can I do it? hundred dollars if you can tell me, Lynn. Could you repeat it, Jack? In 1948, Queen Juliana was enthroned as the ruler of this northern European country. Name the country. Sweden? Nope. Sorry. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Your spin, Lynn. Thank you. Joker! Joker! Royalty! I want to say you're a good spinner. <laughs> I'll try royalty for 200. After becoming king of Macedonia at the age of 20, one Greek general went on to conquer the great Persian Empire. At the time of his death, his empire stretched from Greece to India. Name this Greek ruler. Uh, Can't do it. $200 for you if you can tell me, Ray. Alexander? Absolutely, Alexander the Great. <laughs> and you have $300, now it's your spin. Thank you. Joker, what's my definition? Big and little. I think I'll try big and little for 100, please. In one popular film, Dustin Hoffman betrays an old man who relates his experiences as an adopted Indian and survivor of Custer's Last Stand. Name this 1970 film. Little Big Man? Right, you have $400. Lynn? Come on, Joker. Royalty, Joker, Royalty. and crossword definitions. I'll take crossword definitions for 100, Jack. One 11-letter word, beginning with the letter H, describes a businessman who deals in men's furnishings like hats and gloves. Beginning with the H, what's that old-fashioned word? Haberdasher. Yeah, that's right. You have $300. <laughs> okay, Red? One more big one. Joker, big and little and I think I'll go with Big and Little for 200 please. Correct Jack. answer. Brings you to $600 and a possible victory, but Lynn gets a final turn. An ape-like creature who may or may not be real is known as Sasquatch in Canada. For $600, by what name is he known in the United States? Bigfoot? Yeah, that's right. You have $600. <laughs> Lynn, there's only one way you can win. You have to get three Jokers. Anything other than that, and Ray is the new champion. Give him a spin. Okay, here we go, Jokers. <laughs> Joker, it's all over, Ray Eldridge, you are the champion. <laughs> That's right, Ray, you've won $600 and a chance to play against the devil. As for you, Lynn, 
You didn't win many games, but the one you won was a Lulu. You won four thousand two hundred dollars. Well done. We'll be back right after this. Another episode of Tic Tac Doe. Ray, we're out of time. Congratulations, for winning. See Thank you me. on the next program. Bye, bye, everybody. See you next time. Central receive Swanson's pot pie. Send the meat garden vegetables with the right amount of gravy. All in a flaky crust. Swanson, the quality pot pie. And Baraxel waterless or powdered hand cream as they take on the dirty stand. Stuff the gentle Baraxel cleans all hands in the family. Plus, serve the delicious other potato. Golden oil, Prince of Prince Elliams. High in fiber, vitamin A, and vitamin C. And Welch's sparkling grape soda. Refreshing and lively, bubbly, and bouncy because you've never really tasted grape soda before until you've tasted Welch's. Joker's Wild is a Jack Berry and Dan Enright production.